beginner's core workout. So we can start lying down, roll down onto your back. Find a comfortable position, relax the shoulders. Pull the belly button down towards the spine. Push the lower back into the floor and then tuck your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Feet are about hip distance, quite close to you. And this should feel like work here, so you can really feel those central muscles engaging. Take a few breaths here and just feel that engagement through your center. And then we're gonna try and hold on to that as we lift one leg from the floor. So we're gonna float the foot and then slowly bring it back down again without letting the lower back lift. And then opposite leg, lifting the foot up and control it back down. So it's really easy to do these abdominal movements without actually engaging the core muscles. So we're gonna really focus in now on keeping the belly button pulled in towards the spine. And just controlling that leg movement. And just keeping the breath flowing. So as you lower the leg, breathe in. And then exhaling as the knee comes in towards you. Let's do one more on the other side. Well done. You can take a little rest if you need to, so just hug your knees in towards your chest. Maybe give a little rock from side to side. And then finding that position again. So feet are flat on the floor, close towards you. Tuck the tailbone up towards the ceiling, pull that belly button in lots. And then we're gonna reach the fingertips towards the heels and just lift the shoulders away from the floor slightly, keeping the belly button pulled in fingertips towards the heel, come back to centre and then go to the other side. So you might not actually touch the heel but it's just that intention of reaching towards it. Making sure there's no pain in the neck so if anything starts to hurt here you can come all the way back down again and come back to your left leg lift. Good, let's do a few more side taps. We start to notice the side muscles working here. And then rolling down, have another break if you need one. Rock from side to side. Placing the feet back down onto the floor, hip distance apart, tuck the tailbone to the sky, squeeze the butt, and then start to peel the hips away from the floor, lifting them up towards the sky. And let's just hold here for a few breaths. So see how high you can lift those hips up. Option to support your lower back with your hands, or you can just use the hands to level yourself from the floor. Keep the knees in line with the hips, so you're hugging your inner thighs together, belly still braced, and then roll all the way back down, one vertebrae at a time, until the back is flat, and then you can release the hips. So let's do that again. Tucking the tailbone first, come all the way up towards the sky, really squeeze the bum. Try not to hold your breath when you're at the top. And then very slowly, rolling down. And just releasing back to a neutral pelvis. So if that feels like enough for you, you can stop there. If you're happy, then we're gonna do one more round of everything through. So just starting with that engagement in your center. Hands can relax next to you. And let's lift alternate foot from the floor. So it's a really controlled, slow movement, anchoring down through the lower back. Breathing in, breathing out. I've done one more on each side. and then plant both feet on the floor. See if you can just slide your lower ribs towards your hips, reach towards the heels. I'm gonna side tap. So come down, center, other side. And this is quite a tricky movement, so just using the breath, keep those shoulders away from the floor. Exhale. 
tail down, inhale back to center. Good, one more on each side. Well done, come back to center and rolling down. And let's do that glute bridge one more time. So the shoulders are relaxed, feet hip distance, tuck tailbone to sky, really squeezing glutes. Lift the hips all the way up to the ceiling and let's hold it there. Option, place the hands on the lower back or maybe interlock the hands underneath and then just climb up into the shoulders a little bit. But make sure the tailbone's still tucked, the bum's still squeezed. Don't hold your breath, so take a nice deep breath in at the top. And then as you exhale, releasing the hands, slowly rolling down. And then bring your pelvis back to neutral. We're gonna do that one more time and then you're done. So tuck that tailbone, lifting the hips up, bum squeezed, option to interlock hands underneath if you want to. Lots of breath at the top. Really great way for firing up the glutes. And then slowly rolling down. Give your knees a hug. Rock from side to side. And that's you done.